As the investigation into Monday's shooting at the Washington Navy Yard continues, we all remain shocked by this horrific attack on our Navy family. Our thoughts and prayers are with the families of those we lost and with the survivors. I've had the opportunity to visit with all the victims who are in the hospital and their families, and I want you to know that they are recovering well and send their thanks for all your well wishes and prayers. I've heard stories of great heroism and great horror. We've engaged very significant resources in support of anyone from the Navy family who was at Navy Yard. There's an emergency family support task force, which is being led by Vice Admiral French. Counselors and chaplains are standing by and they're ready to help. If you're in need of assistance or just need somebody to talk to, please call the Warfighter and Family Assistance Center at 855-677-1755 or visit them in Building 72 at Joint Base Anacostia Bowling. For those of you who work in Building 197, your job right now is to be with your families and to recover from this terrible act and not to worry about working hours or leave or anything like that. Until your offices are open for work again, you're on administrative leave, everything will be taken care of. Our families, our sailors, Marines, and civilians are familiar with the dangers of service and the challenges of being overseas, but our security here at home is something we can't ever take for granted. For that reason, yesterday I ordered a rapid review of security at every Navy and Marine Corps base in the United States. Admiral Gortney from Fleet Forces Command and Lieutenant General Tryon from Marine Forces Command will lead this review and their report is due to me by October 1st. Together, as a family, we will grieve, we will comfort and assist the loved ones who have lost so much, and we will support the men and women who were at this terrible event and who emerged physically unscathed. We will get through this, and we will continue the work that is so vital to our men and women around the world. Navy and Marine Corps, uniformed and civilian, one team, one family.